All right, folks, good morning. Hope everybody's doing well out there in the world. Coming to you from the Philippines here. It's a beautiful day. And it's going to be a hot one out there today. Contrast to, uh, I don't know, past couple weeks, had a little rain, cooling things off. Still some showers, but when the when the rain lets up, folks, it's been some warm days. Been working on my tan. Yeah, looking like a Hollywood movie star. So I got my light bill in. And the light bill for the month, to get right to the point, $95.68. Now it was 4,630 pesos, 0.89. Uh, so just say 46.31 pesos. And at today's exchange rates, that's uh, $95.68. Let me verify that. 46.31. Yeah, somewhere in there. All right, so roughly, roughly 96 bucks. Now that's actually a good month for us because our our bill has been anywhere from 7,000, 7,500 pesos, uh, 8,000, somewhere in there. Now we're, uh, folks, that's just way too much money to be living in Southeast Asia for an electric bill. Okay, let me admit that up front. Uh, the reason for it, the baby likes to sleep with the air con. He don't have to, but he sleeps better. So we run the air con when he takes his nap during the day. Uh, we run it at night, and there's so much noise here in the Philippines. You've got dogs barking, loud tricycles coming by. If you just close up shop and turn on the air con, it, try to, it sort of drowns some of that out. I'm just making excuses for the fact that my light bill is way too high, okay? You do not have to have that high of a light bill by no means here, uh, but that's what ours is. Plus, Forrest G likes to watch his ABC songs on the big screen TV, so we're running that. Uh, we also have a full-size refrigerator now, and I'm running a MacBook Pro, an iPad Pro, camera equipment, charging uh, batteries for you know, Sony camera, GoPro, what else am I running? You know, Bluetooth speakers, uh, you know, a whole table full of technical equipment here that I use for running this, running my YouTube channel here. So our electric bill for me is high. Now, if you're one of those guys that runs two air cons in your house, hear how noisy it is. If you don't believe me that the Philippines ain't noisy, just take a listen. No idea what she's saying. Okay. So once that distraction goes past, um, back to the point at hand, it's cost of living video. So the light bill, checking in about 96 bucks for the month. Good for us, but, you know, like I said, unless you're one of those guys that's got to sit there in zero to de degree weather, which there are some foreigners who move over here, fellow gringos who, who that's how they live, well, then your light bill is going to be on up there. But let's contrast this to when we lived into the $28 beach condo underneath the mango tree. We didn't even have an air conditioner. We had a fan. We ran a... A fan or two I mean um, we even cook with electric there our light bill was less than ten bucks some months it was seven dollars because we didn't have a, a, a refrigerator running we didn't have an air conditioner all those big appliances that that pull electricity everybody's gonna be different everybody wants to know what's the cost of living in the Philippines folks it's different for everybody I mean, I'm just being Captain Obvious right there. It's different, just like it is in any other country. So I'm just giving you my numbers so you can watch, you know, 100 other YouTube videos and see other people's lifestyles and see how they live and how much they pay. Um, I think last month we checked in at, I think it was 150 bucks, somewhere in there. And so let me... Uh, and the bill here, our, our bill comes from uh, Zamico, which is Zambalas Electric 
cooperative. I'm here on the Subic side of the river. I think if you're over on the Barrio Barreto, the Alongapo side of the river, your power comes from the Alongapo side. And from what I've been told is that if you live on the Alongapo side, your electric bill is cheaper. I don't know that for a fact. Uh, I should because I used to live at Donito and I got a, an electric bill. Even though at Donito they inflated the electric bill. In other words, they, they made money off of you. So it wasn't the, the real electric bill over there. But that's what I've heard. So if you're on the Subic side, unless I'm wrong, you're going to pay a little bit more along the post side, a little bit cheaper. So let's go over the let's go over the hard bills for us for the month. All right. Let me just throw my numbers out there. So many questions and emails. So just uh, hopefully you watch this video and answer some questions. Okay, our rent's twelve thousand pesos per month. Okay, now twelve thousand pesos right now, and the dollar is down a little bit. It's usually around fifty to one. It's been above that now. It's down to like forty-eight point four two to one. In your head, you can just round about 50 to 1. You know, it's real easy. 100 pesos, 2 bucks. I mean, you can do the math quickly. But when it fluctuates above or below that 50 mark, it's not right on the money, right? Uh, so right now, 12,000 pesos is 248 bucks a month. So we could just, uh, you know, round it up. And let's say it's 250. Um, I just told you what the electric was for the month. So let's come in there at 96. Okay, now my Wi-Fi is 3,500 pesos per month. Okay, the average person does not need the Wi-Fi package that I have. Let me admit that to you. You, you need a fraction of that, but we have the fastest of the fastest of the fiber package through Converge that you can get unless they've upgraded it and I haven't checked. And Unless you're running a YouTube channel shooting 4K videos an hour, two hours a piece, like we do, you don't need this much internet. But today's dollars, it checks in at 72.33. Let's just round that up to say 75 bucks, okay? And let me take that. Let me take that electric to 100. Let's just do nice round numbers. So 250 on the rent, 100 on the electric, 75 on the Wi-Fi. The water bill is usually like 500 pesos. Um, let's throw down 10 bucks for that and what do we come up with okay rent electric Wi-Fi water those are the hard bills we don't have a gas line coming in here we change out those tanks so I'm not counting that as a hard bill but I could I could go ahead and factor in I did a video before five bucks a month on on the gas so 250 plus 100, that's 350. 350 plus 75, what's that? Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter plus 10, 435 plus 5, 440. Is that where I'm coming in there at? Um, let me check the map. I'm on, I'm on a video here. I think that's right, 440. So we could round that up. Say for 450, and if our light bill goes to what it normally is, we would round that up to, to 500. 450 to 500. So if I had to give you my hard bills per month, just living expenses, 500 bucks a month. There you go, 500 bucks a month. But you have to understand, we're living in a brand new apartment. I've got the fastest of the internet. We use the, the electricity way too much. And uh, so it's a little elevated. But for 500 bucks, that's how we're living. And again, the Wi-Fi, that's because I'm running a YouTube channel. If I was not running a YouTube channel, I would say, let's just say 30 bucks on the Wi-Fi. And and that's just if you're into into watching videos and stuff like that. If you don't spend a lot of time streaming stuff, hell, just you know use the package on your phone, and you cut that expense. Okay. All right. What about food? Now I've done a couple videos about food. Throw our food prices in there, folks. If I'm not drinking beer, 
And the old lady's not just making her rounds around the village here, eating everything in sight. Okay, 500 pesos a day, which is about 10 bucks. Uh, again, about $10. $10 a day on food, especially if you're by yourself, you can survive on that. Okay, go pick up a chicken for, uh, you know, 200 pesos, somewhere around there. That leaves you with 300 for vegetables. You can make some good meals on 10 bucks a day, so we round that up. Uh, 10 bucks a day times 30 days, we're at 300. Okay, so we're at a total of 800 bucks. 800 bucks for hard bills, which is living good, eating, $800. Now when I talk about how much does it cost to live in the Philippines, and what, I, what, do, what do I tell you? Either 1,000 a month, 2,000 a month, or 3,000 a month. It's what kind of player are you? Are you the type of guy that's gonna come over here, live locally, you don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't chase ladies, um, you're not a big shopper, you can survive on a thousand a month over time. Now with those $800 per month bills, you can take those way down. But even if you take those bills down, I'm still gonna maintain, you need a thousand bucks a month to survive over time. Because most people, they just factor in, oh, I can, you know, I can get a cheap room like he had for 28 bucks. Man, I can live off of 250 bucks a month. You know, I got three grand in my pocket. I can go over there and I can live for this long. Well, reality is it doesn't work out like that. There's problems. Whether you have to buy a plane ticket, go back to the States, boom, just blew your budget. You have to go to immigration, transportation to immigration, immigration costs. Um, you know, maybe you got to get some medicine. Maybe you have to go to the hospital, which is still very cheap, but it's taking it out of that $1,000 per month budget. I'm still going to maintain that is the bare minimum that you need to be able to survive in countries like this, not just the Philippines, over time. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in Guatemala, you're sitting in Thailand, Cambo, living in a grass hut, unless you just go to the jungle you know, throw your passport in the river and never leave the jungle, you know, uh, that's what I think it comes out to be. If you drink and smoke, you need $2,000 per month. If you drink, smoke, chase women and party and go to the bars, you need 3000 a month. That's how much you need to survive over time. Okay, um, I was going to take you and show you things, but listen, we have, we have a wall unit, air conditioner, we have a small full-size refrigerator and we have a big screen TV. Those are the big appliances that we have and then we cook on the gas which averages out to five bucks a month. Okay, folks there's not a whole lot else I wanted to put out in this video other than the fact that I'm just trying to give you a snapshot at our bills and you compare that with other people that are telling you about their bills and you look at the lifestyles and you can see where where you would fit in if you come over here you don't have to have a brand new place like this you can go up near Baltimore and Subic and rent a nice well I mean a fairly new little small house for like five thousand six thousand pesos about a hundred dollars okay half the cost of what I'm paying here or you can go to Magdalena which is a nice neighborhood where we used to live and you can pick up a place for I think the townhouses were going for 15 or 16 thousand to uh, 25 thousand the Philippines is like any other country in the world you know you can get the most expensive real estate or the or you can get something dirt cheap if you want to live um, locally, okay? There's some rooms not too far from here that are almost, I don't wanna say brand new, they're fairly new and they're just like a studio type room with a little CR in the back, you know, a little area to cook with the kitchen. It's a, a, a local room and they're I think 3,000 pesos per month which is about $60 we could live there no problem we can very easily move there for 60 bucks a month and be just as happy 
I can get Wi-Fi, I can get my same internet piped in there, run a fiber optic line over there, and my rent would go down to 60 bucks. My electric bill would probably go down in a small room like that, even with an aircon, probably 50 bucks. And I've got that much more money left over that I'm not paying on hard bills. Um, and maybe we'll take a walk down there and show you one of those rooms. Um, maybe not in this video, but at some point I'll take you down there and I'll, I'll show you those rooms. Uh, just to see what I'm talking about. My buddy was staying in a, in a hotel room over uh, in Barreto. He was paying 20,000 pesos per month, which is, what is that, about 400 bucks, somewhere around $400 per month. And it's just a hotel room. And the good thing about staying in long stay hotel rooms is you don't have to sign a contract on anything, on the rent, on the internet. You just move in, you pay your money, it's all inclusive. And you know, you've got a hotel room wherever it's at. And you can get those deals for like right at 400 bucks. If you want to really budget, that's the way you go. Just go in there and negotiate how much is the monthly rate. Now a lot of them are gonna make you pay electric. They'll give you a monthly rate on everything plus electric. But some of them, especially during the times right now, they're giving bargains. Hey, X amount per month because they just want some type of income uh, coming in there and I would say around 400 a month is a nice round number that you could get something that that you could live in and I'm talking listen I'm talking in areas like Barreto, Angeli, stuff like that if you're sitting way out in the middle of uh, Mindanao right now and you're saying man that's way too much well yeah but I'm talking about areas like Barreto and Angeles where not everybody, but a lot of people when they first come here or they come here, that's where they go, right? How much can I get a monthly room in Barreto or Angeles? Right now I'm in the, on the Subic side of the river and folks, that's, that's what we pay. Hard bills plus food, 800 bucks a month. There you go. Now that is not including my beer budget, which fluctuates. Um, but again, if you're not a beer drinker, you don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't chase women, there you go. That's one example budget. Go back and watch my video called $28 Beach Condo in the Philippines. 28 bucks. It was $1,500 per month. In the description, I think I put our electric and our, and our uh, water bill. It checked in. 50 bucks a month. 50 bucks a month on that place and I could go back there today uh, if I wanted to and I'd be just as happy all right folks I hope this video helped you I want to thank everybody for joining me here on my channel I know there's a lot of noise and background but I leave that in the videos I don't try to edit that out because this is the environment that you are going to move to if you're going to move to the Philippines all right it's a very noisy country tricycles, dogs barking, roosters crowing. If you don't like roosters, don't come to the Philippines. So I leave that music, the music to your ears, right? I leave all that in the video so you understand what you're, uh, what you're getting into on a daily basis. All right, uh, if you're not a subscriber, right there, bottom right hand corner of your screen, if you click that little overstay road sign, subscribe, push that bell, smash that bell you'll get notified of when we post new videos because I don't have a production schedule I don't wear a watch haven't worn a watch in a long time other than just for jewelry pieces sometimes when I need a little bling folks I'll see you guys on the next one peace out hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at in this beautiful country no it's a beautiful planet my goodness it's a beautiful planet we call the earth